book 287. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the wonking prince and heir to the wonking throne. That's right, the wonking prince and heir to the wonking throne. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in the area of the earth that we call Germany today, an extremely poor man lived alone with his mentally challenged son. This son, who was one of my ancestors no less, was treated badly by his peers and he was bullied by them constantly. They would mock him because he was not as smart as them, he was very poor, and they would make jokes about him because he could not speak well. One day, as was their habit, the other children were devising new ways to be cruel unto the young boy and they approached him as he played alone in the field. There he is, one of the boys proclaimed, pointing at the young boy and smiling. It is the prince of the Wonkins and the heir to the Wonkin throne. All hell. When he said this, all of the children laughed hysterically. The term Wonkin was a word which they had all just created in order to antagonize the boy. The word meant someone who was mentally challenged and who had no real friends. All hell, the other children said in unison. It is the prince of the Wonkin and the heir to the Wonkin throne. Because they continued to say this, the young boy thought that perhaps he was truly of royal blood and he asked them what they meant by their words. Still laughing at his naivety, the other children assured him that he was indeed of royal blood and they told him that one day he would become king of all the walking and he would be rich and powerful. The young boy, not realizing it was a joke, began to call himself the prince of all the walking and he said that one day he would be rich and powerful. Every day after this, the children would call him Prince of the Wonkin whenever they needed a good laugh. One day, a crafty man traveling through their village saw the children calling him the Prince of the Wonkin and he watched them say, All hail the heir to the Wonkin throne. The man could tell that the young boy was mentally challenged and he immediately began thinking of ways to take advantage of him. The man approached the young boy and pretended to be his friend. Then he offered the young boy gifts, telling him that he was happy to help him. All I ask, the crafty man said, is that when you inherit the Wonkin throne, remember my kindness and rise me to heights within your kingdom. The young boy agreed, accepted the gifts, and the crafty man walked away laughing to himself. When the crafty man returned to his village, he told everyone about the young boy who would soon become king, and he told them how he had secured for himself a position of power in the kingdom to come. Being crafty and greedy themselves, many other people went to go and give gifts to this so-called prince of the Wonkin, so that they might be rewarded when he ascended to the throne. Everyone laughed as they manipulated the young boy into promising them power and riches for their meager possessions. And soon, the young boy had more possessions than he knew what to do with. People gave him gold, precious stones, fine linen, and livestock. Before long, the young boy and his extremely poor father became the richest two people in all the land. The children who mocked him his entire life stared at him in awe and asked him how it was he went from being so poor to being so rich. Have you not heard? The young boy asked them, confused. I am the prince of the Wonkin, and I have finally inherited the Wonkin throne. And so, the morning motivation of today is the Wonkin prince and heir to the Wonkin throne. It has been decreed that all attempts to cause you to fail will actually be turned against your naysayers, and those attempts to stop you will catapult you to the top. Do not worry about the ones who mock you and call you names. They are just insignificant pawns in the chess game of your life. In all that you do, remember to see the greatness within yourself and you will no doubt achieve all of your wildest dreams. So today, declare your victory even if you cannot see it and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.